What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Exodia Man and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell. This past weekend, Remote Duels Invitationals was happening on Saturday and Sunday, two-day event. I believe the first day was basically a four-round Swiss, and then um, they went to day two um, and just did the top four. Now, we all know that Guru on one, because that's what you guys are here for, to check out the list. But before we get into the list, I want to say something real quick. I, I, I like the whole remote duels. I haven't participated, uh, kind of busy. Uh, but watching this event this past weekend, it, it, it kind of was kind of like quick. And I mean, hey, you're playing with 16 players, uh, you're, you're only playing four rounds, and then you're cutting the top four, I get it. But uh, for future reference, I think I think Konami should start doing a little bit more players, like at least 32 players, you know what I'm saying? And then maybe top 8 cut, or even just top 4. It, it, but 32 players should be the number for this event, because you could play more rounds in day 1, and then day 2, you know... It, it, like I said, it was kind of short, just just in my opinion. Uh, and then this 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 event was more like Virtual World, Dytron, Eldridge. Um, I mean, the meta that's basically the top the top three decks. Like, you got to say the best. I I feel like Virtual World is like the best deck. I know Dytron is good, but I think Virtual World uh, it's my favorite. It's it's something I will say that it's the top tier deck. It's the best deck. Um, but. Shout out to Caesar and his crew, Got Milk Gaming. I believe they're from Puerto Rico and um, Connecticut. Their team's YouTube channel will be in the link description below. Uh, it's where I got my source uh, for the list. Uh, shout out to Felix. Uh, it's his channel as well. Uh, go check those guys out. Subscribe, like the video, comment below, and do all those fun things we do on YouTube. So, yeah. Guru takes first place going against a virtual world in the final rounds. It was a great match. If you guys wasn't watching it. Uh, I probably will post the finals. I, I don't. I don't know. It's, that's probably copy, right? Infringement, whatever. But uh, I probably would do it anyway. I mean, the finals was amazing. Uh, the Guru player had full control, and it, it was good to see something uh, like Guru <laughs> in the finals. And I mean, Guru is not a bad deck. It's just one of those. Uh, what was it? Um, Control-based decks, right? Like the floodgate decks that everybody hates at locals. Um, but yeah, let's just jump into the list here. Uh, and if I didn't say uh, sh congratulations uh, um, to Cesar Rodriguez, I'm saying it now. Congratulations, buddy. I know you must be happy. Uh, I can imagine. You're just like, whew. You're the king of games, my guy. Congratulations. But let's just get into your list. We got Red Eyes, Black Dragon. We got Dark Magician. Uh, we have three Dimension Shifters. Now, this is funny because these are the only hand traps. Uh, com by besides the Fiendish. But this card is like the only hand traps he has besides the Nibiru and the Cyborg. And this card came in clutch. One of the, like, this is like one of the MVPs of his decks. Uh, Virtual World Dytrons cannot play under this card. So that was a good choice there. Then we got Guru himself. Three of those. One Nemesis and three of the Fiendish. Fiendish is really strong. I, I, I. I'm told if you like this is a bricky card, but it's also good. So I kind of understand why it's a bricky card, but it's 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 good, guys. <laughs> it's another hand trap as long as you have another uh, another sub terra. So that's pretty good. On for the spells, we have another v um, MVP card, Red Eyes Fusion. Three of these to shoot out his uh, dragoons. It's safe to say the dragoons might get banned. Like this card is too strong. Um, if you guys did not see the match, man, it, it was just Guru and 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 dragoons constantly. Them two, toma, 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 and. <laughs> It was it was not much to do, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then you got the summer limited, so come on, man. Uh, but let's continue with the list. Uh, triple T's, two of those. So one terraforming, uh, three of the new pot. I, I'm a, 
I'm a little iffy with this right now. I like it and I don't like it. Not all decks can use this. That's how I see it right now. Uh, I play dinosaurs and I think I can use it with dinosaurs. I think it's really good with dinosaurs. Um, also, Subterra's uh, can use this card very well and it fits very well with them. You know what I'm saying? And also, two pot of dualities. Same, just like the new pot. Same thing. The only thing you can't special, but it's fine. We got two Book of Moons, three Hidden Cities, and one of the Clash. Uh, I've been told that this card, not a lot of uh, Guru players play this. Uh, I know it just gives like 500 to every Subterra card, but I know if you do a battle damage, you add a card from the graveyard, right? A Subterra card? I hope that's correct. And that's all for the spells, man. I, I, uh, that's 17 spells. Let's go into the traps. We got Final Battle, two of those. Another um, MVP, MVP card, uh, Summer Limit, <laughs> Ditron. Virtual Worlds, they can't really do much. They can't summon more than two, so they can't get into their key cards. Like for Virtual Worlds, they can't go into their Calanimies or anything else because they can only summon twice. So, card is amazing. <laughs> Good choice. We also have, uh, there can only be one, Solemn Strikes and three of the Solemn Judgment. We go into the sideboard, three Nibirus, uh, two Nightling Storms, one Harpy Feather Duster, three of the Awakened Dragon. Two of the Ice Prison, two of Starlight Road, haven't seen this card like in forever, and two of the Master Strike. If I'm not mistaken, I know this team very well, uh, got Mill Gaming, and like at least three or four players has been citing this card for Ditrons. Uh, let's go into the extra deck. We got Dragoons, three of those, safe to say he might get hit. One Last Warrior, uh, two of the El Entity, El El Elder Entity, I hope. I'm saying that right. <laughs> two of the Stardust Dragon for the Starlight Rope. Uh, two of the Ultimate Falcons. Uh, one Boar Sword Dragon. Uh, one Mega Clops. Two Verites. And one Link Karibro. So, yeah, that is the deck list for you guys. Uh, first place from the Remote uh, remote Duel Invitationals uh, this past weekend. Uh, this is the second one. Uh, the first one, Dinosaurs won. And now. Um, Subterras. So yeah, for a for a meta that is basically virtual and Ditron and Eldritch, Subterras just uh, came out of nowhere. But yeah, congratulations to Caesar one more time. Uh, it must be amazing. And yeah, guys, for thanks like everyone, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for liking. We really do appreciate it. And you know how it is, man. Peace, love, and gaming. Exordium and out. Deuces.